Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Trials of Mana. We're here with the Ram right in front of the throne room, hoping to see the king. But on our way here, we saw that the magical kingdom of Altina had attacked this uh, castle town. And we went through the entire thing, defeating every monster we came across, getting all our items, all our sparkles. And right now, on behest of the Ram, we're gonna see if we can uh, help the king. Because in exchange, we might get the information we need. So let's uh, head in there. And like I said last time, I'm suspecting there could be a boss fight in here. That's why I ended it last time and went to this episode instead of pushing it a little bit farther. So let's see if I'm right. <laughs> it's a 50 chance, you know? <laughs> Behold! Even the Hero King is powerless when paralyzed by magic. <laughs> you must be the Crimson Wizard of Altena. Tell me, why would Valda, the true queen, mount this cowardly attack? Well, she seeks to control the Mana Stones and thought it best to destroy Valsena before retaliation. Her Majesty is not troubled by past alliances. Hmm. A pity. That is all you wish to ask? <sighs> Sophie, take this! Stop! <sighs> oh my. So this is where you ended up, Angela. I didn't think I'd have the pleasure of seeing you so soon after your disappearance. May our paths cross again? <sighs> Majesty! Are you all right? Duran? Have you returned? Your Majesty. You know my mother? You mean... You are the daughter of Valda? The true queen? Yes, though... She attempted to take my life. To think that Valda had a daughter all along. What do you mean? Forgive me. I meant no insult. You can't just say something like that and expect me not to have questions. Tell me. Hey, you can't talk to the king like that. Take it back. Be still, I am not offended. My apologies, princess. You may one day learn the truth, but now is not the time. I am, however, worried about Valda. She is a kind soul. I cannot imagine her deciding to throw her daughter's life away. Uh. Oh! Your Majesty. We are searching for the elementals that reside near the mana stones of the world. Please, tell us where to find this kingdom stone. Fairy. I see. Then you are all traveling under Fairy's guidance. I have met one of your kind when I stood against the Dragon Lord. In truth, I was chosen by that fairy. You were? Sadly, that fairy was cut down at the hands of the Dragon Lord. I was spared. Hmm. If fairies have come to our realm again. This bodes ill for the world. Eight mana stones exist in the world. The powers of earth, water, fire, wind, light, darkness, the moon, and wood originate from these stones. You will find the elemental spirits of each stone living nearby. We have already located the elementals of light and earth. Lumina and Gnome. Hey yo! <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Six remain. You must travel to Poloport by boat from Bizer. From there you can reach Laurent's Manor Stone. It is the Windstone. Thank you, Your Majesty. We will find the stones. Hmm. 
You need Silphid's wind powers in order to find the remaining stones. Return once you have found him. Safe travels to you all. Okay, so there are two interesting facts. One, there is something going on with Angela and her mother. Because why is he surprised she has a daughter? A queen needs to have a successor. And why is, doesn't he speak of this monastone here in this kingdom? I think we need the, the Sylvie's power for those. And that's why he didn't say anything. Yeah, it, he's a king. He's a very benevolent ruler, so he knows what he's doing. Yes, but... Alas, no boss fight, <laughs> but uh, an incredible nice scene with the Crimson Warrior. Again, showing off his uh, twinkling uh, powers by uh, warping everywhere. So let's talk to everyone here. His Majesty is safe because of you. Thank you. You are a force to be reckoned with if you're already able to save kings. No, so far, it's not that we saved the king, the Crimson left him alone. And why? I don't understand. Because he was at the point that he lifted his hand in order to strike the king down, and he left. Was it because Angela was here, and that's gonna play in later in the story? I wonder, I really do. It's gonna be interesting to see. I was a castle guard when the Crimson Wizard was last attacked. To atone for my defeat, I left. You need Sylphid wind power in order to find the remaining stones. Return once you've found them. Safe travels to you all. Alright. We already went to uh, Visor once before. <laughs> a very long time ago. Uh, and we were stopped because uh, Athena was on the rise and they didn't trust anybody because you could be a spy uh, for that kingdom. Which was valid. We had uh, Angela with us and she is actually from that kingdom. So. Uh, for now, let's see if we can uh, get back more easily. Because uh, the past, the bridge, has been destroyed and we do not have a cannon right here to take us back. At least I think. I just showed someone in the courtyard so they could set up a new cannon. Makes sense that we'd be beefing up the castle defenses with what Tina's troops movement. What do you think of it? I think the cannon mechanic said something about blasting all the way to Naya. It was almost like he was talking about shooting people out of that thing instead of cannon walls. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Okay, I just answered my own question how to get there. Von Boyage is back here. He brought, and he brought a cannon to boot. You are a force to be reckoned with if you're already able to save kings. Altino won't pull one over us next time. We'll double the guard. I was actually uh, expecting uh, there to be something like a castle town in front of this, but hmm, I might be mistaken. We soldiers, won't anyone take Falsina? Well, if it wasn't for me, you would have been already shamelessly defeated. I I'm not judging, I'm just saying. Okay, so the gnome, is gnome. <laughs> bon Boyage is already uh, there, and uh, you gotta admit, he looks a little bit like a gnome. Uh, let's first head back out of town, just to see if there is actually is a castle town, because it could be that we were skipping that because of all the bodies we saw on the floor. And if that is true, I want to go through the town first. And if not, we'll just go back and talk to Von Boyage so he can shoot the hell out of us to get back to Maya. Is a town. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, so let's uh, talk to the town. 
see if we can find some chest and sparkles for some more free items, and then of course, check our equipment. Off on an adventure, huh? Which will be fine, but I wish you safe travels regardless. Well, thank you. Is it candy? I'm gonna become a sword master and protect the kingdom when I'm older. What shall become of us? A fortune reading is a look into your future. Ooh, yeah, very nice. Hey, Cactus Bowie! You found Lil Cactus. And we got a prize. Next prize, few undiscovered treasure boxes. View from the map menu. Oh, that's actually really nice. Could that way we can check if we haven't missed anything? Hopefully I won't forget we have that skill. <laughs> Alright, onwards to the next. Oh, I planted a seed in the Inn's magic pot and it sprouted. Whoosh! Just like that. Yes, and we definitely need to do that as well. But first, let's check on our fortune to see if... Uh, nobody here? Really? <gasps> that sucks. What did my fortune read? I just wanted to know if everything was going to be alright. Let's check behind buildings. Altina won't pull him on over next time. Yes, we know. Most of you guys already told us. Alright, then not a fairy wall nut. Beautiful. And what can we plant the fairy walnuts in the inn's chest? Because it's technically a seed as well, isn't it? Alright, can we enter there? Yes! The Hero King statue is quite striking, don't you think? I stare at it a lot. Yeah, that's a bit creepy, to be honest. Welcome. Come, take a look. Okay, all the same stuff we have seen everywhere else. And our very impressive 53 candy that we can heal for days out of combat. Come again. Ah, in sync as always, the beautiful dancing shop merchants. Welcome. Lots of wares to browse. Okay, these are actually shops uh, inventory from before. <laughs> Come again. Is this because we shouldn't be here? We should have talked to Bonvias and just go straight out there? Because it's actually Duran's uh, place? Huh. Could be it. Welcome. Lots of wares to browse. Doesn't mean I'm not happy I did it because right now we've got our first thing for Kevin. Uh, that's beautiful. Nice. Yes, nice. The gem and the glass ring, both the same stats. That is beautiful. <laughs> All right. So at least we've got something out of this. Oh, what am I saying? Of course, we're already happy. We've already got a few sparkles and the uh, chest as well. So this has definitely already been worth it. Ooh. It's candy. And of course, we're also going to use the inn for the seeds. You know those funny things out of town? They all cough wind moth. No one knows why they've been Ita Mithoi. No matter how many times I try to replicate her speech, it doesn't sound the same, but I still love to do it anyway. <laughs> it's dangerous out there these days. It truly is. It truly is. Yeah. Strange to see flowers bloom at this time of year. Seems like a bad omen to me, but who knows? 
I could also just uh, enjoy the flowers. Medical herbs. And more money. Just checking the back sides of the trees. Look for some kind of fetish, just to see if there's anything shiny behind there. Magical rope. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten to go into the other buildings, but I see so many shiny things, I just wanna make sure I've got all of them. And it's not a lot of money, which you find, but of course every little bit, if you pile them all together, does uh, come up for a lot. Like that's it. So let's check if uh, on all the buildings we can enter. Wow, this looks like a library. The Mana Tree. Sealed away at the heart of our world is the Mana Sanctuary. In the center stands the Mana Tree, resting place of our protector, the goddess of Mana. Without your bridge to Maya, there's nowhere for us to run. Apparently there are powerful beasts sealed within the mana stones. At least that's what it said in the book. What would have happened if they were released? Well, then somebody needs to defeat them. Now you don't have to look at me, I'm not gonna do that. Hey, hell. We we're just here for the mana power so we can get our sword and uh, finish our quest. I'm gonna touch those benefadons with an 8 yard pole. Benefodons, Earth, Land, Umber, Wind, Dead Guard, Fire, Zombie, Water, Figmund, Moon, Dolan, Wood, Mistpawn, Light, Light Gazer, and Darkness. Nothing is written about the last one. Yeah, because whoever sees him never survives. Sounds ominous like that, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, switching classes. Yes, this is what I want to know. Uh, a hidden power of some of the mana stones is the ability to draw out latent abilities of adventurers seeking to switch their classes. Experience dictates when one can change classes. Without a specific level build experience, 18 for class 2, 30 for class 3, the adventurer cannot switch. Okay, so we need to get to level 18, which we are close to. I think we're 16 at the moment. So technically that would also mean that all points we gather uh, upwards to uh, level 18 can be through distributed uh, between all the classes. Still, there is something to be said of uh, gathering them up for later levels, but yeah, I am still debating that with myself internally. But what do you guys think? Shall I spend the points before uh, getting to class 2, or shall I save this and use them onwards into the higher level, so we can get straight to the end of strength once we get uh, to class level 2. It's so hard to decide sometimes, because there are some decent skills in the other trees. I don't know. I'm just uh, winging it here by what I see is best. Uh, class 3 is one of the highest known classes. Its power is so great that Master Grand Croix sealed the way with a certain magical item. One cannot unlock the class. Which in the old one was uh, the question mark seeds, which you could use in the pot to get a certain class item that was randomly distributed, given to you, and you had like two different ones. You could go to the dark one or the light one, and I'm, I'm gonna assume it's gonna be like this here as well. And you need to do some really grindy things in order to get all those seeds you wanted, which I also made a guide for. I'm hoping that in this one with the item seeds we deliver to the inn is going to be a lot easier to do. But, like I said before, we need to get there first before we know it. And if it's just as grindy uh, the second time around as it was in the last one, I will probably make another guide as well, with everything I've learned in the past as well. So, the mysteries of the monastones. They're full of mystery. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's the perfect book. <laughs> that actually is the perfect book. 
I uh, love it. Monster Manual. This information on everything from rabbits to mushrooms. Some monsters are described in an ancient, ancient language. I can't read it. And it's not because you're a beast man that is very illiterate. Naughty novel. Ah, ah come on. Show pictures or it never happened. This is the Falcina Royal Library. I've been researching the monastery as many old texts as I can find. I hope I can see its magnificence in person someday. Well, keep on dreaming. Alright, nice building. I, I love this library stuff because it does teach you a little bit more uh, about the lore and the uh, worlds you're playing in. I like it. I always used to uh, read through them, and there are some games that have some really complicated text and pages and pages of it. For example, Xenogears. Lots and lots of text in there. To the point that I would wonder if I come across those, because I do want to play that one day, should I record reading all of them? Because it is extremely interesting. And if you don't have the game and you want to know more, those things would be extremely useful. It, it, it really will be. But yeah, let's uh, keep on checking down with, uh, before we are discussing all other games we're not playing right now. <laughs> uh, welcome, take a seat. Did you need something? Mm, eh, not particularly. Just uh, can check you guys out. Starting to get nightfall, and uh, you know what we said, we're gonna try to sleep at every inn we come across. The town was mostly spare, but you never know when another kingdom may attack while our guard's down. Well, I talked to the guards, and they say they will double it, so I'm pretty sure you're fine. What do you expect? After what Altina did, I have a hard time enjoying this town. Oh well. 13 item seeds. Yeah, I've been stockpiling them a little bit. <laughs> let's all use them. Maybe we'll... I can't even do all of them at once. Okay, let's see how high we can get. Couple of wishes. Couple of wishes. Let no eye. Very well not. Medical herb. Light coin, chaplet, ghost eye, dryad icon, sagging chip. Okay, with the increase we got right now, I would suspect we need like 30 more to get to level 3, so. But I gotta keep on cracking those item seeds. Lexerin, Siren Color, Gnome Icon. Okay, I have to be honest, that serum is intriguing me. Because is that a status up item? Because if that is, that means we can get status up, status up items that can give us free training points? Or is it for a stat increase? Outside of the train. Oh, I'm curious. I want to see. What is it? Where is it? These are all magical items. Ah, oh, there it is. Uh, intellect stat increased by one. Limited number obtainable. No, it isn't. If we can get it from an item seed at an inn, it's unlimited. You just have to be incredibly lucky. Okay, this is good. This is actually very good. So, this begs the question that you have also in other games. Will you invest in the points in the person that doesn't have it? Or do you give it to the person to increase their capability? So we could give it to Angela, so her magical power becomes greater and more damaging. Or we can give it to Kevin to strengthen his weakened points. Yeah, you think about that. I will do the same. Because at first I want to see how much we can get, because I'm pretty sure. 
welcome. It's gonna be a hard time getting all of them. Even though they say the higher the level, the better, better the chances are of getting better items. All right, the shade time of day. Save the game? Nope. Uh, I think we have like one building left. And then we can head over to Von Boyars to shoot us back out of that cannon. Which was already bad last time for our knees. I doubt this time would be anything better. Right. Mm, that's it. Then we got all chest, all sparkles. Hey, wait. Uh, treasure boxes. Two out of four. Yikes, so there are two more chests in here somewhere. Alright, so let's check the usual suspect, like behind buildings, trees and stuff like that. There's one chest. Oh, I'm already liking the cactus boy giving us this one. Oh, I don't really see the other one as well. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, I think I'm gonna really like that uh, ability. And one bar of chocolate. Nice. Alright, now we have everything. I always can enjoy when a game really puts some effort in in placing chests and items in a place where it's very hard to see unless you have the camera turned just the right way. Because when remaking a game, you gotta use your new assets and making it totally 3D gives you some options to hide stuff all around. And they'd be crazy not to do it. Alright, let's talk to Von Bayard and see if he can make a cannon, I'm pretty sure. He has them all uh, lined up in his pockets. Von Voyage? Oh, you mean my older brother. I'm Von Jour. I know you want to get back to Maya, but hang on. I'm still setting up my brother's invention. And wait for the cannon to be finished. Von Voyage? Oh, you mean my older brother. Von Von Jour. I have no idea what it means because I'm I don't speak French. I, bon voyage, I think, is from Bon Voyage, so it's from Happy uh, Happy Journey or something like that, a good journey. But yeah, okay. Let's uh, see if it's just as easy as uh, in the older ones. So there, you just needed to uh, go out of the screen, go back again, and the cannon will be finished. <laughs> and uh, what did you expect? Why can't he just do it while I'm watching? Oh no, it's not that easy here. Okay, so since we need to be waiting for it, uh, so just go back to the inn, sleep again till the morning. Oh, the star's actually here. Does the game actually want us to go there, or is there a scene in town? So there it is. We can now read our fortune. That's why the person wasn't there. Mm, people's life are 99% destiny, but the rest of the future is always shaped by your will. It's up to you to decide. What I call that final 1% of hope. What's that face for? Huh? Why not get a reading from this old fortune teller? is coming to me. Eh, yeah, it's never happened. All I see is a fairy creature fluttering around. Yes, a fairy like that. 
Oh my, are you a real fairy? Uh, it's my fault. It's impossible to find a future of a person possessed by a fairy. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with your gift. Ah, oh, that gave me a cold sweat. I think I should rest for today. Close the door on your way out. The thought of the fortune teller has granted you a new ability. Uh, fortune teller chain ability, status effect time shortened by 50%. Nice ability if you have the room. I can already see that in the end you have like 6 uh, slots that you can use to uh, distribute your uh, skills. And like 50 different skills you can choose from. I really have a hard time picking uh, certain stuff. But don't need to make it harder for me. Uh, you seem to be in a hurry, yet you're wandering around aimlessly. What's this about a cannon? I see. <laughs> you're idling away your time while you wait. I suggest you spend your time talking to folks around town. You never know what useful information you may pick up. Uh, once, while I was taking my time on a stroll, I came across a cactus. And not just any cactus, this one could move on its own. It was quite a shock. Dear me, I've prayed a lot now, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, I know which one you're talking about, and we already got those. Heading to Laurent, I highly recommend stopping by the night market in Bizer on your way. There are many things for sale there that may help you on your travels. Some rare items sold to the night market you can't buy anywhere else. Might as well take a look, right? <laughs> I'm from Visor myself. I love to recommend it to the others. They all look the same, but they are definitive individuals, so yes. I might as well uh, Welcome. skip the morning. We have the cash, we might as well do it. And if he still ain't finished after uh, working throughout tonight, we're gonna have a stern talking to him. But that means he doesn't have the same work ethic his brother has. Well, it seems. No, there's still one more person to talk to. I saw some sort of cannon in the courtyard of the castle. <laughs> I wonder what it's for. Vice bonjour. Okay, I think he finished. See if his uh, brother is a bit of a better shot. Because <laughs> if he lands us in the middle of town, I would be impressed. <clears throat> I'm Von Jour, younger brother of Von Voyage, and he told me all about you. He even gave me this cannon to help out with your little adventures. Hop in! I'll send you back to my brother's place in Maya. Oh, no, 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 don't worry. I'm a much better shot than he is. <laughs> I can imagine their uh, let's say resistance. Cause <laughs> he lives near a port town. Before you know, they're shooting us miles away from the coast, and we for sure would be in trouble.
Damn, that's a near perfect shot. <laughs> Head to Kaiser. Yeah, first we first want to talk to Von Boyage. Before we leave. And who are you people? Oh yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. You helped me test out my hyper upgrade ultimate cannon. Thank you for your hard work. I got all the data I need for now, but I'd love to get your feedback for my next invention. Uh, the thoughts of Ombiasa has granted you a new ability. Power attack damage increased by 5%. Nice. <laughs> Okay, and this is where you talk to everybody in town, just in case. I'm from Bia's sister. Uh, this is the same text. Beautiful. So everything and everybody that looks a little bit strange, always try to talk to them. You never know what you might learn. Okay, so for now... I think uh, we can leave it here. Next time we'll go to Visor. And since we already walked the entirety of the path, I'm just gonna walk there for you. And on the next episode, we're going to start right in front of the bridge into Visor. And we can see it there. If, however, I come across a scene uh, during the way over there, of course, I will start it there. And not a moment later. Because, as always, we do not want to miss anything. So, that's going to be that. Uh, I hope to see you again next time. But until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. Till next time. Bye-bye.